because I saw people talking about this. I watched a bunch of reviews. <laughs> Like the first really cold day for real it's like 30 something degrees out here while i'm out here in this little ass jacket about to go to the gym it's cold as hell out here oh my god what's up y'all good morning happy monday or whenever you're watching this video good morning today is going to be i'm sorry this video is going to be a week in my life so it is actually thanksgiving week it's monday november 20th thanksgiving is on thursday so everybody's running around doing their last minute preparations i know thanksgiving has already happened by the time you guys watch this video but i hope you had a wonderful um thanksgiving i'll probably say that again on thursday because i'm gonna forget i said it today but i hope you have a wonderful thanksgiving and a wonderful time hanging with your family and friends and whoever else um however yeah it's monday and your girl is working monday tuesday and wednesday actually this year i don't know i just didn't feel the need to take off not that it really mattered i feel like it's going to be i can't have this camera like this because i can't see shit i feel like it's going to be a super um just light week you know i'm just catching up on things it's going to be a very light week prayerfully so um yeah i'm gonna be able to catch up on things that really didn't make sense to take off wednesday i didn't have much to do anyway we are hosting thanksgiving per usual um my parents cook the food they bring it to our house on wednesday and thursday and we host so this year i have the potatoes the rolls and i'm making dessert so i am making a seven up pound cake from scratch um so my first time making it was last thanksgiving my husband's grandmother actually passed away last june june 2022 and so i am i his grandmother made the best seven up pound cake so i decided to take that on for him and make a seven up pound cake and i made one last thanksgiving ah, it was all right but then i made one for christmas that shit was busting for real for real from scratch everything from scratch who am i right from scratch so i'm gonna do it again for thanksgiving i'm gonna make that my dad just called and requested an apple pie so i'm going to make an apple pie from scratch okay not the crust but you know just the apples and shit but i'm gonna make an apple pie and then i'm gonna make um a lemon lush a lemon lush um it's like a pie i guess and then i'm going to also make a cheesecake so those four desserts i have to make on wednesday and yeah we it's, it's thanksgiving week you know we're just we're just prepping here so that's what this week is going to be about closing out work having a few days off hanging out with family and just having a good time but of course we have to get our workout in because that's what we do around here and i just started rambling what's up y'all for those of you who don't know me what's up my name is cc we talk about our corporate careers productivity and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel so if that is something you're interested in i would love for you to join the family and follow my journey um subscribe you know i have a fitness channel and a family vlog channel as well those will be linked down below if you guys want to check them out <sighs> but we're headed to the gym um it's about nine o'clock in the morning and i'm gonna go it's an upper body day i have been loving upper body days lately so it's a good upper body day i'm excited to get back into the gym this week and um i'm gonna probably go five days so I'm gonna probably go to the gym Monday through Friday this week so I can have next weekend to just take off because 
Are y'all gonna see that video? Y'all will see that video before this. So I can tell y'all. So um, on Friday, actually, on Friday, um, after I get back from the gym, because I'm gonna take an early gym class, I've already already um, scheduled it at Orange Theory. On Friday, I am going to be relaxing my hair. You guys, I have been natural for almost 10 years now. I've been natural since like February of 2014. Um, so it's just shy of 10 years. I've been, I cut my hair off the first time. Um, well, and you know what? It's actually been since 2013 that I got my last relaxer. But, um, but I cut my hair off and kind of big chopped uh, like February of 2014. So we're right just shy of 10 years and I'm going to relax my hair. I'm going to do it. I am. Um, I didn't come to this decision lightly. If you guys have not seen the video, I explained everything in the video or I will explain when I when I make the video. I'm going to have it, everything explained in that video. It should be up. It should be the video up before this. So you guys will see that. I'll link it in this video so you guys can see all of my reasoning. But that's where we are. I've already bought the relaxer. Don't try to talk me out of it. It'll be too late by the time you see this. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care for opinions. Um, I didn't put this out there to to get your or anyone else's approval because I already know there's gonna be some people. Why would you do that? Relaxers are the devil. Yada 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 yada. Whatever. Um, like I said, I explained my reasoning in that video, so you guys should head over and check out that video. But. <sighs> that's my decision and you guys are going to get to see so that video kind of shows me on will show just like me on that day doing it but this video you guys are going to probably get to see like my reactions leading up to it and my thoughts because I'm actually really nervous I, Mark really loves my natural hair and he's been kind of shaming me for making this decision but it's a decision I'm making for myself and um yeah uh, he's, he's been kind of shaming me like seriously um but I just I'm kind of nervous about it it's been 10 years I mean if it doesn't work it doesn't work I'll cut my hair off and start over I've done it twice so it's not a big deal but I just I'm still kind of nervous about it so uh, whatever it's my mama hold on try what mine try nothing I'm at the gym Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging on myself. nowhere I just <laughs> finished up like a round of calls I had like three calls in a row I think it was four actually four calls in a row um for some shit that had to get done and now I want to show y'all some of the stuff that I've gotten over the weekend because 
it's good stuff y'all it's important okay so i went hold on i ain't had lashes in a couple weeks i need to go get me some lashes or do some lashes all right so i told y'all my grand plan I told y'all my grand plan for my hair, right? We're going to relax our hair um, this weekend. So, I actually purchased this because I saw people talking about this. I watched a bunch of reviews. So, I purchased the Tymo Ring um, straightener. And this is supposed to be a good straightener, um, not a flat iron. It's supposed to have less, like, heat damage on your hair and all of that. So, this is what I'm going to use, I think. Or maybe I'll just give it a real good straighten. I don't know. This is what I think I'm going to use to straighten my hair. Only problem is I'm working out all week, baby. So I'll have like the end of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to actually enjoy the hair. Because after that, I'm working out. But I just think it'll be easier like for my mom to braid my hair, to give me my straight backs under my wig, to straighten my hair. If I do like want to be like, oh, I want to wear my hair out today, I can straighten it real quick. You know, I just feel like it's going to be easier to do stuff like that. So I purchased this so I can be ready for my new hair journey. I'm really excited. We're going to do like some relaxed hair videos. Okay. So I'm really excited about that. Then we went to the mall yesterday. Well, I went to the mall and I went to um, JD Sports formerly finish line. And they had a ton of stuff on sale. So I just picked up this Nike sweatshirt. And this was $35. These sweatshirts are like 60 bucks. So these were on sale for $35. So I got those or that. And then I also purchased um, hand soaps. Because Beth and Body Works had hand soaps on sale. Um, for $2.95 and I needed some because I told you guys we're hosting Thanksgiving so I picked up the leather and brandy this was on the white barn side is it kids out there why is it kids outside they should be in school I picked up the coffee and whiskey also on the white barn side the crisp morning air mahogany teakwood which is a fave of mine and then also golden berry mistletoe i think i'm gonna put this one out for thanksgiving so that would last through like the thanksgiving and the christmas season and then the rest of these can go out anytime because they are just regular scents and not christmas scents i hate getting christmas related stuff because then it just goes because I don't like don't want to use it throughout the rest of the year. So I hate getting Christmas related stuff. So I did not I only got this one. And then I need to stop at the store and get some crust for my apple pies. I think when I get off this next call at two o'clock, I'm going to get some crust for my apple pies at the store. I think that might be all I need because I think we have enough apples. I just don't want to be caught in the store like on Wednesday trying to get stuff because I feel like Tuesday and Wednesday the stores are going to be insane. But uh, my daddy requested apple pie so apple pie he gets so I think we're gonna run to the store in a bit as well plus I have these shoes to take back so y'all Adidas I don't normally wear Adidas but they've been having some really good sales awesome shoes lately and I purchased three pair of tennis shoes my bill came up to like $115 for three pairs of tennis shoes which is crazy so Two of them I got in my right size. The other one they didn't have in my size. So I got it in a bigger size and they were too big. Adidas run kind of big anyway. Is this gonna stay? Adidas run kind of big anyway. So these were, these look like grown man shoes, girl. I don't know what the hell. These are a size eight and a half. I wear an eight in tennis shoes in women. And these are eight and a half. And these look like my daddy Cordy shoes. Like my man Cordy shoes. Like, no, 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 no. So, I need to drop those off at FedEx because I am not keeping those. I'm getting my $48 back. And so, when you go to the store, get apples, go to FedEx. And, yeah, that's that. But first, we got another call to get on. So, let's do that, and then we'll head out. If you break the cash, I'll be a rubber band. You need a match, I will be a fuse. Even when it's 
up y'all happy uh today's wednesday it's the day before thanksgiving i didn't vlog yesterday um i don't know why i just didn't so it's the day before thanksgiving and um i actually have an orange theory class scheduled at 10 but it is currently 8 57 i just dropped my kids off at my mom's house so orange theory is only like 15 minutes away Come on. So I want to stop. The hair store is not open yet. Um, but I do want to stop at I'm gonna see if like the little grocery store that I always go to has the shampoo I'm looking for. I just want to get a bigger neutralizing shampoo. I told you guys <laughs> what my plan was. So I just want to see if they have like a neutralizing um shampoo that i want to get i should go to the one over here because they have more black people products it's more black people that live over here and they got more black people products y'all know when you go to certain neighborhoods you can get certain products it's more black people products over here um but yeah i need a, a neutralizing shampoo and then i also need a um a, like a protein kind of a keratin treatment a heavy duty like treatment for my hair um because obviously when you relax your hair um you know you're breaking down the strands so i don't want to damage my hair too badly if i can help it so that's what i'm on the hunt for today but other than that today is really just wrapping up the last couple of things at work and um also cooking my desserts getting the house prepared and then maintenance uh because your girl been looking busted rusted everything all week so um i gotta get myself together so i want to um do my hair my nails i need to do my lashes and i just need to get back to looking decent again so we're gonna do that today as well and just make sure we look decent for Thanksgiving tomorrow. We have, again, lots of family coming over, so it'll be a good time. So that's what we're gonna do today. I also got, um, I ordered some shoes from Finish Line or JD Sports, and then I went to Old Navy and I got a couple things too that I wanna show you guys. They be trying to get your girl, cause they sent me like this letter, like we're gonna close your credit card in 30 days if you don't use it because I haven't used it in so long so I went there and I spent like $90 and I just got a few things um, that I'll show you guys they actually had a lot of good stuff on clearance but I got a couple things there so that's the plan for today let's yeah I want to get to the store and I need to get to my class I have one hour to do so and then yeah we're gonna get our day started I feel like they ain't gonna have much I do need to get some heat protection though Child, I don't even think they got no relaxers in here. Yo, we gonna have to got like Sally's or something. Yeah, I should have known. They don't even have no relaxers in here. All right, that was a bust. They ain't had nothing. I'm gonna go to Dollar General since I still have some time. Cause I feel like they at least have relaxers. So if they at least have a relaxer, then I feel like I have more of a chance of getting what I want. Cause Sally's is all the way down the street. And I just don't feel like going down there. I mean, I can't go down there right now cause my orange theory class is about to start. But like, I don't feel like going down there period. So um, I will if I have to, cause I'm gonna be trying to do this like Friday morning, but I just, you know, if I can get this stuff um, from here, I will. So um let me tell y'all i was talking to mark like mark has been all the way like all the way shaming me about putting a relaxer back in my hair right he has been on 10 about it and i'm like dude and he's like i just love your natural hair which he does and he has he has stated this he said this that he likes my natural hair but and i look i do a lot of stuff 
for my man if he asks I don't mind doing it that's fine but I have put a lot of thought into this and I just feel like it's easy to say you love my natural hair when you're not the one who has to suffer through wash day you're not the one who has to you know have anxiety about not knowing what to do with your hair have anxiety like spend hours on a hairstyle for it to not come out have anxiety just about what I'm gonna do with my hair for certain events it is tough shit okay and it's and look having natural hair is not for the weak all right I've done it for a decade and what the hell it's just hair so if it again if it all falls out we cut it off and we start over and nothing's lost because we just wear wigs like we've been wearing so it's not a big deal hair grows back my hair grows pretty fast actually so hair grows back it's cool um, I'm just tired and I have the right to be tired and I have to keep telling myself like you have the right to be tired you have like it's okay you know just because everybody's went natural and I, like it don't look you do you all right you do you it is what it is and that's kind of where I am with my mindset but then I saw some girl do a puff on like a little YouTube short the other day and I was like I won't be able to make a puff anymore and I was like kind of I'm not gonna lie it, it, it kind of hit me a little bit when I saw that but my decision is firm my decision is made and we're gonna do this whatever let's go look for the shampoo I think I was wrong y'all they don't have relaxers people just cut relaxers off huh so y'all heifers don't need to be relaxing y'all here they got none of the black people products girl what was going on here yeah they ain't got none of them that's even worse than other store. Ain't that some mess? color I was gonna put a rinse on my hair but I don't know I just don't feel like doing all that so we're gonna stick with just the relaxer um, so let me sh show you guys what I got I ended up getting the hair strengthening kit from Afoji this was a brand that I used to use all the time back in the day when I was relaxed. I even used it a few times uh, while I was natural, but I love this brand. It's really great for getting your hair back to, to good strength um, and healthy. And obviously, we're going to be breaking the hair down, so I want my hair to still continue to be healthy. So we got that. They actually had a good deal going on. You got like $15 off. You spent $40 on hair care. So I got some money off. But I also got these Silk Elements. I got the Luxury Moisturizing Neutralizing Shampoo. Because obviously you need a neutralizing shampoo when you're doing a relaxer. And then I got the Luxury Moisturizing Just a Regular Shampoo. And so I can use this in between washes. Because I'll be washing my hair a lot more frequently. Because... Um, uh, like right now I only wash my hair like every four to five 
sometimes six weeks like do a full deep wash so I'll probably be doing that like every two to three weeks now but um, I also grabbed the silk elements strength and silk coconut heat protectant cream I think I have some heat protectant at home but I just bought a new one so that's the heat protectant cream because occasionally I'll be putting heat on my hair I got another Silk Elements product. This is the Renourish Jojoba Oil Moisturizing Treatment with Biotin and Silk. So this is just a deep conditioner. So I picked that up. The I got everything Silk Elements pretty much. The Silk Elements Strength and Silk Cholesterol with Coconut Oil and Silk. Um, this is for relaxed and natural hair cholesterol makes your hair super soft i love cholesterol um and then i got the afoji keratin and green tea reconstructor and so i'll be spraying this on my hair every time i wash it relax it whatever um like i was telling y'all before i'm only gonna relax like once every 12 to like 18 weeks i'm gonna stretch it as much as possible so realistically we're only gonna be relaxing three to four times a year um which hopefully fingers crossed to still keep my hair in good health so we got everything we need for friday i kind of want to do it today for real but i just don't have the time it's already 12 o'clock i have a few work things to finish up i need to grab something to eat and then i also um oh shit i'm already on the street now and then i also need to um like cook and stuff and clean up so i just really don't have the time to do it today but I like why you want to go ahead and do it today and see how we look for Thanksgiving. But I ain't going to do it. We're going to wait till Friday. So let's get home and get started on this massive to-do list. Y'all, um, we got home. I washed up and I just feel so much better. I got in the shower, did a little work. Now I am getting ready to start cleaning up and I'm getting ready to also start my lashes, nails, all that stuff. But I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that came yesterday. So I told you guys I did some shopping at um, JD Sports, which is like formerly finish line. And I just picked up two pairs of Adidas. I've been addicted to Adidas lately. And like the dad tennis shoes so i picked up these they remind me a lot of the new balances that i've been looking for and cannot find in my size but i picked these up i think these will be really cute at the gym um i actually really like these so i think these will be really cute at the gym with my leggings or with my shorts they just look so big but they're a size eight in women so they fit i tried them on um they're a little big actually but they work these are the Oz Millens. And okay, so these, the Oz Millens, um, these are regularly $100, but they were on sale for $48. And then I had an extra 20% off. So they were like really cheap. And then I got, oh, these right here, which is just another pair of gym shoes. I got to stop buying gym shoes, y'all. I'm telling you. But um, I also got these as well. And these also were like 30 something dollars. I got both pairs of shoes for like $70. So very, very inexpensive. But that's what those look like. They're all white. And these are the Cap Tier Flows. And I also got these in a size 8. But they just look like that. Adidas, I found they run big. Like Nikes run smaller. Adidas run bigger. So keep that in mind if you're going to order some Adidas. But they're having a really good sale right now. Even though I got those from JD Sports. But um, the Adidas website is also having a really, really good sale. So I also went to Old Navy yesterday. And they had a bunch of good stuff. But I saw this guy. Which I was looking for a new like leather jacket. And so look at this one. I thought this was really, really cute. It had the belt at the bottom. And I just thought this was really cute and edgy for like, you know, going out when it's not super cold on a date night or out with the girls. I just, I thought this was really cute. So with some jeans, you know, dress it up, dress it down. So that was like $30. So I picked that one up. I 
I don't know. I got to see how I'm going to style it, but that's that one. Then I was looking for je some jeans for my son. That's the whole reason I went to Old Navy. And y'all, only bought one pair of jeans for him. Um, but they were just these. My son wears a 3T, so I just picked him up a pair of jeans. And then I got two pair of jeans for me. Um, and these were on clearance. So these were $8.99. Okay, I can't pass that up. They're a size 10, which I wear in Old Navy. They have the raw hem. And these are the OG, high-rise OG ankle straights. Um, so they look like that. I was like, I couldn't, I really couldn't pass these up for $9. And then I got these for $14.99. And these are also a size 10. These are the High Rise OG Loose. I was actually thinking about wearing these tomorrow for Thanksgiving, but I don't know. But yeah, they have the rips in the knees. Those are cute. So I got those. Also I had some packages come through today from Amazon. This is crochet hair from my mother. She ordered that. But I grabbed some little like rings and these are really cute like mid finger rings. Hold on. So these don't all go all the way down your finger like depending on what finger. Okay this one does but depending on what finger you put them on some of them stop like right here and right so they go in various places on your finger do i have small fingers because all of these are going all the way down let me see but they're just different like look at this one that one is really really cute right so they're just different different rings and maybe I got a bigger size because all of these are going all the way down my finger. Like I was hoping some of them stop like right here. But they're all going all the way down my finger. Well, that's a bummer. I mean, this one kind of stops here. So this one like stops there, which would be cute. But I wanted to put them on my fingers for some different looks I wanted to do. But literally, they all go down my finger except for this one. So I might have to buy more. Maybe I bought a bigger size than I meant to. I don't know. But that's what those were supposed to be. Lastly, we got a PR package from La Occitan. La Occit La It'll be on the screen. La Ox. I think y'all told me how to say this before and I'm butchering it. I don't know. The name of the name will be on the screen, y'all. But they sent over some stuff. That's a heavy box. So there's the box. How cute. Let's see. Got a little bow on it. Mm -hmm. um, it says, Hi Camellia, so excited to share these iconic ingredients with you as we approach the cooler months. Enjoy La Occitane. La Occitane. I'm so sorry. Sorry, y'all. I feel like I'm I'm just butchering the name. Oh, okay. What we have here? We have the um. Oh, the dry skin hand cream. Oh, oh, I've had this before. I want to say I still got a mini of this. I do. It's right there. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Okay. So we have that. I'm looking at it right now. I do have a mini of this. Um, this is the... What is this? Oh, Proactive Youth Skin Care Enriched Emulsion. I 
It was in French, I think, so I didn't know what it was. Also, I think this is moisturizer, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say this is a moisturizer. Yes, I was just saying upstairs I needed a new moisturizer too. This one is the Overnight Reset Oil In Serum. Oh, she's heavy too. This is luxury. Oh, we love. Look at that. And then lastly, they sent over the shower oil. Yes, I've heard so much good stuff about the shower oil. Yes, so I'm excited. I'm gonna link these products down below. Um, thank you to them for sending this over. That was so, so sweet. Uh, just oh, so appreciative anytime anyone takes the time to recognize my, my channel and send things over. So, so sweet. Thank you to them so much. Um, I've heard so many good things about that shower oil. I'm excited. I'm excited. I just got out of the shower. I would have used it. Um, but yeah, those are all the things I've gotten over the last couple days so I thought I would show you guys what I had now I'm about to do lashes I'm about to do nails and I'm about to do this hair so let's do it <laughs> cooking I didn't get my nails done yet so I'll do those in a minute but I want to get started on the desserts before it gets too late it is already four it is already 4 36 so you know um, I don't want it to get like super late so um, I have everything out like I told you guys we are making an apple pie a lemon lush and then I'm going to make a seven up pound cake my mother has made a seven up pound cake she also is making sweet potato pies so we're gonna have plenty of desserts so i just have everything sitting out letting the butter get a little softened for everything and yeah i'm excited i'm also gonna have my girls help me they've been wanting to help me cook so i'm gonna have them help me a little bit and um yeah i'm excited to make thanksgiving desserts
happy thanksgiving i'm talking low because the rest of my family is asleep because it's just 7 30 and your girl is up headed to the gym i'm dedicated y'all dedicated up headed to the gym so i can just get this thanksgiving day workout in because i'm gonna eat guilt-free um we made all the desserts yesterday i will show you them all done up and pretty later but here's what we got like so far this is the apple pie of course i tasted it in the corner but this is the apple pie it looks so good the seven up pound cake i haven't flipped it yet it's still in the bump pan but i'm gonna like transfer it to that cake pan over there but i haven't flipped it yet but that's the seven up pound cake now the thing that i don't know came if it came out correctly we're gonna look at it together is this lemon lush i think i used the wrong pudding yeah i didn't think it was shit i used the wrong pudding i was supposed to use instant and i used regular and it never firmed up so it's just like liquid on top or did it firm up no um it kind of did but it feels like just liquid on top i don't know i don't know i'm gonna have to actually i need to do it now because i need to go to the store and get pudding if it didn't work oh shit yeah see that's it's not supposed to be liquidy like that is supposed to be firm and so i used the regular pudding instead of the instant and so that didn't that firmness didn't happen with the pudding so which means i need to go to the store which also means i wasted three sticks of butter some flour and cream cheese which is great because that's yeah that ain't hidden so we're gonna have to do something with that when we get home i knew it wasn't right and we shouldn't have put that pudding on top of there but i was like maybe it'll firm up yada 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 that shit ain't firming up um let me put this well i'll leave it out yeah that shit ain't firming up that shit looks terrible so the store around the corner is not open so we have to go to um go to the store a little further away so mark has a workout class at 10 o'clock it's 7 30 now um so if i can get to the gym by like 8 8 15 we're still doing good so let's go yeah we just got back home from the gym such a good workout by the way it was pretty crowded in there but anyway we are actually i just put the crust in the oven for the refrigerator like tart the lemon lush um they saw the christmas tree honey the camera saw the christmas tree so i just put the crust in the oven but now i'm getting ready to flip this bunt cake so Let's see how it turns out. I know you can. You just need to try hot dog. You don't think you put enough grease? I don't know if the pan was greased. If we greased the pan enough, let me see. I greased the pan, so maybe I didn't put enough grease. No, I was watching you. It looked like enough. There we go. Yeah, it's coming out. Oh. Okay, well, a little like residue on the in the pan. So it's not perfect. But it's good. But it looks pretty good. It's not as good as my last one, I'm not gonna lie. But it looks 
Like, it looks okay. This looks so small. <laughs> so it is. It's what we made. It looks okay. So, uh, yeah. But once we, you know, we'll put the icing, the drizzle on it. No one will ever know the difference. It still tastes good because I tasted a little bit of it last night. <gasps> You make homemade ice cream? Yeah. You only made one? What? Sweet potato pie? Two. Oh. Last time I made three or four, y'all didn't eat it. So then I had a half of one because I ate half of them. I made three. I mean, the lemon left side come out fully vegetable. Oh, should I pull out them other rolls? And make a few of them too? I bought some for today and then some for the house we eat them all the time. No, but we eat, again, we eat them all the time. Almost done. And there's the dressing. Don't hit me quite the same. Everything is out of the oven now? Except for my bread. Oh. Happy Friday. I ain't vlogged that much at all yesterday, you guys. I was just with my family hanging out. So I didn't get to vlog that much yesterday on Thanksgiving. But um, it's Friday night, y'all. It's like 5 o'clock. It's not night. Oh, my God. It feels like it's like 10 o'clock. But it's like 5 o'clock and um, a little after 5, actually. So I'm trying to hurry up because I'm about to get ready to go. Um, my husband and I are going out a little date night. It's my cousin's birthday. Uh, so happy birthday, Marlon. My cousin is turning 40 and his wife is throwing him a surprise party. So we're headed out. Um, we have to be there by, well, the surprise is happening at 7.30. That's when they're showing up. So we need to get there before 7.30. So we're aiming for 7, 7.15 to get there so we can just be there in plenty of time because you know the last thing you want to be is the person who ruins the surprise at the surprise party right so um we're aiming to get there like i said about 7 7 15 it's 5 15 right now and we start to drop the kids off at my mom's house which is in the opposite direction of where we need to go so i do know what i'm wearing though so i'll give you guys like a whole outfit check and all of that but it's time to get ready so can we get some more light over here where's my thing i'm going to um what do you call this wand curl this hair and then um i'm gonna do my makeup i haven't done a glam like makeup look in a while and i don't know if it's gonna be glam but it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute there we go a little more light um but yeah that's what we're about to do. So let's wand curl this hair, y'all. I'm so like, 
I gotta hurry up. I always do this. I've been sitting around all day doing nothing and then I wait to the last minute and now I'm rushing. Oh, and FYI, I was supposed to be relaxed by now. I know I told you guys I was relaxing my hair on Friday, but I have a whole, like today was not a completely full or completely free day. We went and worked out this morning. We slept in. We had to go pick up the kids because they spent the night at my sister's yesterday. And then we got home. I had like, I did have like five or six hours to myself, but I mean, I don't know. I just didn't feel like doing it today. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's a completely free day. I'm just going to try to squeeze in a workout in the morning, but we have nothing to do at night. And so, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I've been having so much anxiety about it. And I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do it. But no, it's the right decision for me. I'm I'm convinced of that right now. So um, yesterday, Thanksgiving went so well. Had such a good time with my family. I love hanging out with family. Oh, my God. Here he come. Child can't go nowhere without this boy following me. What you want? Nothing. Nothing. Had so much time hanging out with my family. It was just such a good time. I mean, I always have a good time with my family. I love family days like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Hand. Shh, put that down. I always have a good time with my family. It's just such a good time and I just, I always enjoy it. So we had a great time yesterday. I try to be present, try to be in the moment and, you know, not film too much. I meant to film more than I did, but... I know I never want to film too much, especially when family's over. I just like to be present and in the moment. You never know when's the last time that's going to be the last time you're going to see your family member, right? So, um, I just, again, I just like to be present and in the moment. So, that's what I was doing yesterday. And Thanksgiving went just amazingly. Hopefully, you guys also had an amazing Thanksgiving and spent time with family and friends or whoever you spend time with. And it was just, I hope it was just amazing for you. Um, the food was good. We eat leftovers all day today, of course. And, well, not tonight because we have to go out. But, yeah, it was just an overall great day. Um, tonight's going to be a great night. And we're ready to have some fun. So let me, yeah, T minus 40 minutes until I need to be ready. So let me do, do this hair and this makeup and I'll talk to you guys when I'm getting dressed.
can't tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow. Faith is shaky and vibrato. I can't hold a frown too long. I can't stay down too long. I can't hold a frown too long. Look, running from pain, running from strain, running from things, running from skin. Couple things I show, couple things I don't. I can tell you my problems. I can tell you my sins. I can tell you my problems. I'm uncomfortable in my skin. All right, y'all. So I am running late per usual, but I did pretty well. It's only 6:05, and I am ready to go. I got this dress from Target. If it's still available, I'll link it. Um, dress from Target. This shirt underneath is from Amazon. This is like a necklace that I got from Nordstrom Rack. It just has a C on it. These are the rings I showed you the other day. I put a few of those on with my wedding ring. These boots are so old. They're from like Just Fab. I got them like literally like seven years ago. Um, so I doubt those are still available. But if I can find something similar, I'll find something. But this is the look. And I will see you guys at the party. Happy Saturday. Um, yeah, it's Saturday. And today is definitely the day. Uh, oh, I need something on my face. Um, I'm wearing my fro for the last time. And uh, Mark and I are actually about to go out to eat. The kids are still at my mom. She's going to drop them off in a little bit. But we're actually just going to go to Outback to grab some food. It's like midday. What time is it? 1044. Hopefully they're even open, but we're just going to go to Outback and grab some food and then come home and kind of chill out and clean up the house and just get ready for the week. Um, well, not really. I mean, it's only Saturday, which is the good thing. If yesterday felt just like Saturday, but today's Saturday. So it's always good when you think it's further along or when it's further along in the week than you think it is. It's always better, but. Ugh. But yeah, we're just going to start probably the getting ready for the week process today. Um, nothing too crazy. I'll probably end this vlog today. But um, I kind of just wanted to document the last, the last few hours with my natural hair, at least for a while. Um, but yeah, we're about to head and get something to eat and... Um, like I said, we're just going to go to Outback and then the kids should be home. And I don't know what else we're going to get into today, but we'll see. Morgan, pull it up. There you go. Uh huh. She don't need nothing like that. She don't like it. She don't need that. She got plenty of stuff. Don't do and stuff. What about I'm She bought me these. She don't like jeans. Yeah, but these are cute. Yeah, and I thought she didn't like jeans. Oh, these are cute. I like colorful jeans. You like something like that? I don't like just plain jeans. Uh, where is here? She was just in the store. She left already. Oh. Uh, oh, this might have been good. Christmas cider. She left the school to a different school. Uh, 
What's wrong with my paper? Nothing. Why are you always looking crazy? There's right. There's stuff inside of your eye. Other, yeah, right there. No, like other eye. Right I'm here. Take this hair out. Down here. There's still something down here. Where are we? We're at the mall. Fine. Stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my 